This is the big story presented by HerbChambers.com. I'm Chris Rowland. I'm the Washington Bureau Chief of the Boston Globe. And I'm here to talk today about the uh, new book by Scott Brown, Against All Odds, which is due to be released on Monday. The big revelations in this book are that uh, Scott Brown had a very uh, difficult childhood. It was known in general that he did have violence in his, in his childhood. His mother had married several times. There was alcohol and he lived in poverty. But what this book does is it uh, details in much uh, more depth uh, the things that the, happened to him, the beatings at the hand of his stepfather uh, in very dramatic and chilling detail, as well as uh, the most uh, explosive revelation here is that in summer camp when he was 10 years old at Cape Cod, it was a religious summer camp, uh, he was actually sexually assaulted by a male camp counselor. And uh, it's a very, uh, uh, really horrific and, uh, and searing and traumatic experience the way he describes it in the book and his effect on his life. The book is definitely, uh, I think, uh, coming out for, for at, at, at this time for a couple of reasons. Coincidentally, it really can help him a lot in his campaign uh, for Senate uh, that in 2012 he's running to regain or retain his seat, I should say. And he'll be uh, stumping heavily, but he'll also have now this book to help tell his story. Interestingly, the biggest revelations in the book are about his childhood, and he's much more circumspect about uh, you know, elements of his uh, political philosophies and why he got into politics in the first place or why he even wanted to run for the U.S. Senate. He only mentions uh, really what motivated him to want to be a U.S. Senator in about two or three sentences in the book, whereas long chapters and passages are devoted to his childhood. So clearly what he wanted to do here was tell his really uh, somewhat sympathetic story about his childhood. It really puts a human dimension on him.